Right, we're going to look at editing some blue loops today. Uh, we're going to use the cycle region and we're going to do a bit of pitch editing. So open up the project from last time or a new project, whatever you want. And there it is. We have the drum stein here. And then we have the bass coming in here. And then we have the guitar coming in here. Very simple. Today I'm going to look at first editing these. Okay, now this is the electric bass. If I want to hit, listen to just the electric bass, I can hi obviously highlight the electric bass track, click on the headphones. This means I will only hear that instrument. If I click on mute, that means I will hear the other two tracks, but not that instrument. Okay, very useful. So I'm going to put headphones on because I just want to edit this track. And I'm going to edit this second time the bass loop comes around. So I'm going to edit this particular one here, this one. Okay. Now, if I want to listen to just that little square, just that little loop, if I click on here, this is a cycle region. If I click on that, this yellow bar appears. And I can make it longer. I'll make it shorter. And what this means now is when I press play, it will only loop this one bar here from number uh, five, six, seven, seven, eight, so two bars, number eight and number nine. Okay, so let's have a listen. It just goes round and round and round. I want to edit this track, so I can either double click it or the one, I, the one I've highlighted, or I can click on these scissors and put editing down here, okay? So it's track editor. Um, and as you can see, it's enlarged. You can also zoom in quite a lot, or you can zoom out. And all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop off the last beat. Let me just zoom in here as well so you can see a little bit more clearly. So it starts at number seven, up here. Then, so this is bar seven, this is bar eight. And down here, look, you've got bar seven, and then bar eight. I'm going to chop off the last beat of bar 8. So, if I move my mouse, don't, don't move up here, this, you don't need to know this just yet. Move down till you get to the cross. And then I'm going to chop off the last beat. Okay, if I highlight that, press delete, then that is now gone. Let's see what it sounds like. Now, can you hear at the end there's still a pop, which we don't want. Very small thing, but I'm going to get rid of it because I don't want it. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to move it along. Sometimes you get a bit lost when you're doing this. And there's a bit of deleted. I'm just going to delete a little bit more. Just that, to get rid of that glitch, that sound. Here we go again. Let's see what it sounds like with the drums. Quite nice because you get that in the drums that you wouldn't normally hear before. So, turn off the cycle region, go from the beginning. Right, so now I've got these two bars. The first one's normal, second one I've edited. Uh, these I haven't done yet, so what I can do is just delete all these, so highlight like we did before. Go, 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 press delete, zoom out a little bit. I'm going to highlight these two, copy, and I have to always make sure the timeline goes right on. It should automatically drop in the ones you want. Paste. Now here, look, you see the timeline is just before 13. If I paste it there, it's not going to sound in time because it started, the new one I've pasted in, it started before 13. So listen to this, it sounds a bit strange. It's all out of time, so I need to make sure, remember undo if you do something wrong. Okay, and I want to actually paste it right where the bar starts. And then here, I'm going to drag this to here, paste. Because we've got a little space at the end, so we need a little space every time. Okay, and there's a little space there, and then if we want to paste another one, it will be there. 
Okay? So always make sure you're looking at the lines. So we've got that. Come back. That's quite nice. Now, this guitar part, just for fun, I'm going to show you how to do some uh, change in the pitch. What you need to do is, uh, first time, this first time we'll have it normal. The second time I'm going to make the pitch higher, which means making the, the highs or low, making it go higher or lower basically. So I'm going to change the pitch of this guitar, click on the guitar one. Uh, obviously the timing editor is still open. And here it says pitch. And I'm going to move everything up two semitones. Oops. This means one whole step up. <coughs> so if we're in Do, we're going up to Re. So let's see what that sounds like. Also, let me just hear only that from here. So I've made it go one step up. Now, if I've made the guitar go one step up, I also need to make the bass go one step up, otherwise it sounds like this. Doesn't sound. Sounds completely out. So I'm only going to put this one up as well. I've highlighted that, and I'm going to change the pitch of this up to semitones as well. So let's see what that sounds like. I'm also going to put these up so I can highlight both of them and move them both up. Right, so as you, oops, it's three. I've done three by accident. So two. As you can see, it tells you which ones you've transposed, which ones you've made go higher or lower. I put these up two semitones. So Obviously, I'm going to have this again. Well, not obviously, but why not? So, copy. I'm going to delete these. And I'm going to put these in their place. There we go. Right, so I've got a nice, uh, simple. We've changed the drums, we've edited the pitch. We've also used this, the cycle region, which is very useful for just hearing one particular part, for example, this bit. <laughs> We've also looked at just hearing one track at a time. Okay. And then let's listen to the whole thing. Take off the cycle region, go back to the beginning. Here we go. <coughs> So we'll save that. Very simply, editing blue loops, cycle region on off, listening to one track at a time, and then muting one track so you don't, so you don't hear that track. Yeah, that's it. That's the idea. Save and bye bye.